Hello guys, today we will do uh, the sparkling stars, something like we see in this video here, in the sky and also on the lake you see these uh, little sparkling here that fade in and out somehow. This system uses particles so it can be used by any blender user so these steps are not only for grease pencil users. So let's start. Here we are in a new blender file, we don't need the cube, let's delete it without any remorse. And then hit 1 on the keyboard to go on front view and then hit um, shift A and add a plane. So this plane will be used as the emitter of our stars. Let's go to edit mode and let's make it vertical. So edit mode. So all the points of the plane are selected. Let's go here to object properties and to rotation to the X here and rotate it like this. Yes. So I just want the upper side here to be in front. So I think I should just type 90 degrees and here we are let's hit one again let's zoom in a little bit and let's get out of edit mode now we will add a particle system so hit the plus sign here to add a particle system and we won't need hair we will need emitter now we can hit play and see how our particles behave these bars that you see here are just the default objects that are used on the emitter uh, we will change them later for a green pencil object but let's see how we can stop this movement here there is an option here under physics where you can just uh, change the physics types to known and that will yeah stop the particles from falling let's use this for now but later we will see why we shouldn't use the sitting here now let's see where our particle emission will start and when it should end and also we will see to the number of particles that we need and to the lifetime of each particle so the settings here in the emission will mean that the particles will start emitting at frame 1 and end at frame 200 in that interval in these 200 frames it will emit 1000 particles spread on 200 frames and each particle will be displayed for 50 frames so the first thing I think I'm gonna change the duration to 100 but I don't want the particles to start emitting on frame 1 I want to already have stars when my animation starts so that's why we will start in frame like minus 50 and end in frame 50 so that will give us 100 from the start to the finish okay so here if we go to the start you see that you already have particles and in frame 50 it stops emitting more particles and the particles that were already displayed when they hit their left lifetime of 50 they start to go away so this is how it works now i think we have a lot of particles so let's reduce this to like 200 and test it i want also to make the end of my animation in frame 50 and start playing again and test it okay so we have this maybe we could lower it to 100 now do we need our plane here to be displayed i don't think so i think for the stars you would add the stars as in a particle system and then add a background of your sky maybe in that sky you will just as i did in my animation you will have some stars that won't blink so let's go to render here and remove show emitter from here and then to viewport display and also uncheck this one show emitter so now we have only our particles showing let's change this view here and see what we have it works fine we just need now a fading system so to do that let's go to the textures panel here and then choose one of these and then add new so here we have a new texture you hit this button here show texture in texture tab and we are here in texture tab now now we need to change the type to blend we have now this gradient let's play it and see how it goes so you see that we have a very different animation now and that is because of this these settings here and their influence it's called general times so i'm not very familiar with most of these here but we don't need general time we need size so let's uncheck general time and check size and now our texture this texture will affect the size so i guess black means zero size and white means 100 percent there is one more setting to play with so here under colors let's check the color ramp here okay and we will play with this gradient that you see here there is this first color that is black and the second color that is white so i don't know how it's called this a stopper a a marker i don't know this one has alpha we don't need alpha let's just put alpha back to one and we will need this gradient to make each particle 
go from zero to 100% and then to zero again. That means from black to white and then to black again. So let's add two markers here. I think we should hit the plus button or control left click and control left click again. So this one will change its color to black. This one, I think it's kind of it's white, so we are good. And this one too is white, so we are good here too. Okay, so we have this gradient here. Let's change here from linear. You can keep it as linear, but I would change it to ease to have a more organic gradients. And let's change this to, to easing. The orientation, just leave it horizontal. The influence, we have size here. And here in coordinates, we forgot to change this from generated to strand particle. When we choose this, this texture will affect each individual particle. When the time comes for the particle to show up, and it will start at zero it means at black and then it will get bigger and bigger to 100 percent and then go to zero again so let's play again and see what we have nothing what's wrong is there something else that we need to change so i've never did it in this order before make the particles and add the texture first so what i'm gonna do to test my setup is to add a grease pencil object and add it to our particle system so let's go to frame one let's hide our plane hit shift a and add a new grease pencil object go to draw mode here and we will have a bonus tutorial here this bonus tutorial is called how to make a star with grease pencil <laughs> first thing let's add a new material nothing here so add new and then remove stroke choose fill make it white and we will draw a circle we will have a five point star and for that we will need a circle with 10 subdivisions okay and there is the sitting here for the circle the default value is 94 subdivisions okay and we will need 10. i think the minimum of divisions in a circle is two that is based on some experiments of mine so if you for example put two for subdivision here it means a circle will have two initial vertices or subdivisions or divisions and the two you are typing here so if you want a circle of 10 subdivisions or 10 vertices you will need to type eight so 8 plus 2 equals 10 <laughs> nice and now let's draw a circle with our fill material here so let's draw and i think yes hit shift while dragging to have a perfect circle and now hit enter and we can go to edit mode to edit our shape so select everything i think i'm gonna hit this one toggle x-ray to move it to the center here so g move it here to the center Let's hit shift to make our movement slower. I think I'm going to rotate my shape so that this point will be in the center here. So R, we are of course in front view. So if you are not in front view, your rotation and movements won't be accurate. So make sure you are in front view before moving the circle and before rotating it here. So hit R and I think I should have just, what is the angle between this and this? I think it's like uh, 360 divided by 20. No. So 360 divided by 20 equals 18 degrees. So let's just type R and then 18 on the name pad. Enter. Yes, that's it. So now we have a perfect rotation, a perfect straight line here. And you see the line between these two points is perfectly vertical. And now we will select every other vertice. So this one and then shift, select, shift, select, shift, select, shift, select and the rest is easy so you just hit s and voila this is your star you can have an inverted star here the big star or you can have the small star and you can make your star like this or make it like this or make it like this so you can have a pentagon like this very nice so this is it let's go to object mode let's and hide our particles plane here the star is very big i think i'm gonna go back to edit mode again and hit a to select everything and resize it i resize it in edit mode so that it's like you are applying size on the go so the scale you see it's still one but if you resize your object in object mode the scale here will change and to put it back to one you will need to apply the size you see and now let's move our star gx to the side and select our plane again here in render we will change from hello to object we can also use a collection so if you want to have multiple shapes of stars and multiple colors of stars you will need to create those stars and add them to a collection and here choose collection instead of objects okay so let's choose our objects it is our star here and now let's test our animation very nice it's working 
I think if I resize my object here yes I will have bigger stars here and also you can play with the size I think here too so select the plane again and yes the scale here you can make it one and you have this big star let's disable uh, the x-ray mode here there is also a setting for rotation this one here if I change this to randomize you see that the stars rotate in random directions they are not constrained to just one axis so I try to play with these settings here but always I get these random rotations in all directions oh I think this this guy here can do it yes so phase change the phase and then random phase is this what we want and yeah we have some randomness here I guess object Y no global Y object X object Z okay so I have this to global Y or to object Z and I changed uh, this one the randomized phase this phase here let's put it back to zero yes so here is our randomness so now there is one more thing to do what if I have a longer animation than just 50 frames I have an animation of like 500 frames and these stars will start to fade at frame 50 there are actually two methods the first method is to duplicate the particle system here I think it is by hitting this guy here and then you go to the second one here and hit this two button to make the particle settings unique and then you just change this one here from uh, minus 50 to 50 to 50 to 150 so that means that when the first one ends at 50 the second one will start at 50 and the last for another 100 frames just like the first one but i think this is just a waste of time to use so control z control z to use this duplicating system here the easiest method is just to change the numbers here so here we have 100 frames duration and if i want it to be 500 frames it means that it will end at frame 450 so that means that we duplicated the 100 frames that we had initially by 5 and here whatever number you have of particles here you will need to duplicate it by 5 too so 100 duplicated by 5 equals 500 particles so instead of the initial 100 particles that were emitted in 100 frames now we have 500 particles emitted in 500 frames if you want to double the number you double the particles again and you double this one so it ends here in frame 950 and we will have the same look nothing will change in our display but the emission will last longer so our job is finished it looks like it is finished i need to see where my camera is okay it's good so let's go to render and hit f12 to render one frame and see we have nothing at least my star should be showing yes i think i need some light or i think i just need to disable use lights here my star was affected by lights but in grease pencil we can disable lights and the grease pencil object will be shown whatever lighting you have so let's go to rendering again and hit f12 and you see my star was rendered but not the particles this led to a lot of head scratching and hair tearing and then i found the answer by chance so let's go back to our emitter settings and go to physics and instead of known let's turn it back to this one i think newtonian so i guess now my stars will start falling again but if you go to render and hit f12 you see that we have our stars back so how to make our stars stick to the plane let's go to field weights i think and change gravity to zero and then test it again let's go back to frame one you see that we have this movement here there is another buried sitting here under deflection no under integration after a lot of looking around i found this one integration midpoint and time step 0.04 i don't know what the heck is this but changing this to zero and then enter here are our beautiful sparkling stars okay it would be nice if we could do a fade in in and out with transparency instead of with size but i think this looks great maybe even better than the fade effect and the fade effect is a little bit hard to do especially with ev and i think it can't be done with textures i couldn't find a way to to do it with textures it need to be done with nodes and also i don't think it works with grease pencil objects so i think that our best option is to use this size method and i think it looks great
yeah what do you think guys so this was it this was our tutorial for today thanks for watching and see you in another video peace